a case of symmetry. Symmetry is when something, you can put a mirror down the centre of something, you know, the same on either side, okay? Or you rotate it and it looks the same after you've rotated it, but not all the way around. So we've got basically two different things. The one where you put the mirror down is called line. Symmetry. Sorry, just checking the spelling of symmetry there. And you've also got the one where you rotate it, which bizarrely is called rotation. Symmetry. So let's look at some examples. We've got the letter T. Okay, how many lines of symmetry does it have? Well, it only has one, right down the middle. It's got one line of symmetry. How much rotational symmetry does it have? It's got order one rotational symmetry, because you have to go all the way back around to the start. So, line. Symmetry that only has one. So one line. So I should have put over it. One line of symmetry and rotational. Symmetry of order one, i.e. there's only one thing time it'll look the same. Okay, what about the letter H? Well, the letter H has two lines of symmetry. It's got one going through there, and it's got one going through there. So we've got two lines of symmetry. And it's also got rotational symmetry of order two because I can turn it through 180 degrees and it will look the same I can turn it all the way back to 360 and it will look the same so it's got a rotation order 2 ok so let's look at some other two more shapes and we'll see what they've got and then you can practice some questions so we've got a biohazard sort of warning shape. Like that. Okay, how many lines of symmetry does that have? Well, it's got one line coming through here, it's got one line coming through here, and it's got one line coming through here. It doesn't have any of those. So it's got three lines. Of symmetry and it's got rotational symmetry of order three because I can turn it from here there and turn it so that one's put in the same place and then all around and so that one's in the same place and then back to the start again so we've got order three on rot sim it's my lovely shorthand there okay so one more shape One more shape we could have would be a triangle. So that's the rotational symmetry of a triangle. Well, it's going to look, if we look, it's going to be the same as what we just did there. We have three lines of symmetry, and we have rotational symmetry of order three on an equilateral triangle because we can get all the points pointing upwards. So again, we've got three lines and order three. Just quickly, a square would have four lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry of order four. So you have four lines and rotational of four. Okay, so there's some questions on that in the booklet. If you have a go at those, when you come back, we'll move on to some sort of more advanced geometry.